Vampire myths have captured the human imagination for centuries, their origins deeply rooted in ancient folklore. The concept of a creature that drinks the blood of the living dates back to ancient Mesopotamia, where the myth of the Lamashtu emerged. This demoness was said to prey upon infants and pregnant women, drinking their blood and consuming their flesh. Similarly, in ancient Greece, there were tales of the Empusa, a demonic being who would seduce men and drink their blood during sleep. These early myths laid the foundation for the vampire legends that would later proliferate throughout Europe. In Slavic folklore, the vampire, or vampire, was a reanimated corpse that rose from the grave to feast on the blood of the living. This creature was often associated with plague and disease, as outbreaks of illness were sometimes blamed on vampire activity. The belief in vampires was so strong that communities would exhume bodies suspected of being vampires and perform rituals to prevent them from rising again. The connection between vampire myths and biblical times is intriguing. The ancient Hebrews had their own beliefs about creatures of the night. One notable example is the figure of Lilith, who appears in Jewish mythology as a night demon. According to some traditions, Lilith was Adam's first wife, who refused to submit to him and was subsequently cast out of Eden. She became a demoness who preyed on newborn children and pregnant women, much like the Lamashtu. While Lilith is not explicitly mentioned in the canonical Bible, references to her can be found in the Dead Sea Scrolls and other apocryphal texts. The idea of consuming blood also has significant resonance in the Bible. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 17, verses 10 to 14, the consumption of blood is strictly prohibited. And whatever man of the house of Israel or of the strangers who dwell among you, who eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. This prohibition can be interpreted as a divine command against the very essence of vampiric activity. The act of drinking blood in this context is not only a violation of dietary laws, but also a symbolic act of taking life, something reserved for God alone. The book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 14, offers a metaphorical depiction that some interpret as reflecting vampiric imagery. There are those whose teeth are swords and whose jaws are set with knives to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among mankind. This verse vividly illustrates the destructive nature of those who exploit and consume others, resonating with the predatory essence of vampire myths. While it may not be a direct reference to vampires, the metaphor highlights the theme of predation and consumption, core aspects of vampiric lore. Additionally, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 14, there is a reference to Lilith, which can be seen as an allusion to night creatures and vampiric myths. Wild cats shall meet with hyenas, Goat demons shall call to each other. There too Lilith shall repose and find a place to rest. The mention of Lilith, often associated with demons and night spirits, aligns with the portrayal of vampires as nocturnal predators. This verse underscores the presence of night-dwelling supernatural entities within the broader biblical context providing a parallel to vampire folklore. The Book of Enoch, an ancient Jewish text not included in the canonical Bible, 
contains intriguing references to fallen angels and Nephilim, which can be linked to vampiric mythology. In this text, the fallen angels, known as the Watchers, descend to Earth and mate with human women, producing offspring called Nephilim. These Nephilim are described as giants who bring violence and chaos to the world. Their insatiable hunger and predatory nature can be seen as parallels to the characteristics of vampires, emphasizing themes of corruption, unnatural desire, and the blending of human and supernatural elements. In conclusion, while the Bible does not explicitly mention vampires, the cultural and religious context of blood consumption and night creatures provides a rich tapestry of themes that intersect with vampire mythology. The ancient fears and taboos surrounding blood and death resonate with the vampire legends that emerged in later centuries, illustrating a deep-seated human concern with life, death, and the supernatural. These connections invite us to explore the intricate ways in which myth, religion, and folklore intertwine offering a profound reflection on the mysteries of existence.